Welcome to Math Defined. I'm Mrs. C, and today I'm showing you how to subtract mixed numbers. Today's video is a quick review of how to subtract mixed numbers when they have different denominators. I like to start by writing my subtraction problem in this vertical format that you see here. I feel like doing this makes it easier to remember that you always subtract the fractions first and then the whole numbers. Now, before I begin subtracting, I need to look at the denominators of these fractions. As you can see, they are different. The top fraction has a 4, and the bottom fraction has a 2. So I will need to find a common denominator. By looking at these two denominators, I can see that 4 is a multiple of 2. So 4 will be my common denominator. But if you don't readily see that, you can always make a list of each denominator's multiples until you can see what they both share. So I can list out a few multiples of 4. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, and so on. And then I list out a few multiples of 2. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, and now I can see that they both share a multiple of 4. So again, I can see that, my, that 4 will be my common denominator. My next step is to rename each fraction with my common denominator of 4. I'm not going to rename the top fraction of 5 and 3 fourths because the fraction for this mixed number already has a denominator of 4. So I'm just going to rewrite it. Now, looking at 2 and a half, I will need to multiply my denominator of 2 by 2 to get that common denominator of 4. I will also need to multiply the numerator by 2 as well. Remember that whatever you do to the denominator, you must do the exact same thing to the numerator. So 2 and a half will be renamed to its equivalent of 2 and 2 fourths. If you're liking this video so far, please do give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button along with that notification bell. Doing these two things really does make a difference for the channel, so thank you so very much. All right then, now that our fractions have the same denominator of four, we can subtract. To do this, we just subtract the numerators and keep the denominator of four the same. So 3 minus 2 is 1, and again, we'll keep the denominator of 4, so our fraction is 1 fourth. Next, we subtract the whole numbers. 5 minus 2 is 3. Our last step is to simplify by looking at the fraction of the mixed number. If that fraction is improper, or if the numerator and denominator share a common factor other than 1, then we can simplify it. If you're not sure what um, improper fractions are and how to simplify them, be sure to check out this video where I explain those improper fractions and how to solve them. In this case, however, 1 fourth is not an improper fraction and 1 and 4 do not share any common factors other than 1. So our mixed number of 3 and 1 fourth is already simplified. Don't forget to look for more of my math videos at Math Defined and check out this video where I show you how to use a calculator to add fractions. You'll be amazed at how easy it is to do. I can't wait to show you. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope it helped. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.